Okay, so let's jump into this video and talk about setting up and configuring our outputs using our FuelTech Manager software. So when we're trying to control things, such as a radiator fan or a fuel pump or even a boost solenoid, we have to go into our FuelTech Manager software and designate the pin that's going to be associated with that output control and then go into the background to program the details for that control. So something like a radiator fan, we have to tell it when we want to turn on based on coolant temperature and then turn off. So there's going to be things that we're going to cover in this video. They're going to be the most common outputs we're going to be using with our FuelTech controller and then things that you need to know as you're going through your process of setting all your outputs up. So without further wait, let's jump into this video so we can check all this out. Okay, so let's get started here. We're going to be taking a look at how to set up and configure our outputs using the FT Manager software. So the very first thing we need to do is jump into our software and get into the output section. It's going to allow us to see what outputs have been configured and what outputs are available. So let's jump in here to our sensors and calibration section, move down in here to outputs. We're going to find here that when we click on the outputs, it has all of the outputs that we have available for the box we're using. I have an FT600 controller in this example, so I have a lot of outputs available. Now, if you have an FT450 or a 550 controller, you're probably going to have less available outputs here that you can actually edit. So looking at this, we have outputs here in blue, outputs in gray, outputs in yellow. Now anything in blue is going to be associated with our fuel injector output controls, specifically used for fuel injection. And anything in gray here is going to be used or can be used for our ignition outputs. And anything yellow for the idle control or drive by wire throttle control. So we'll find that these have very specific purposes for the control. However, if they're unused, we're going to be able to repurpose them for other outputs that we want to control. So we're going to be going over that in a little bit here, but let's talk about our outputs that we have here and how they're going to be set up. So when we set up our base map, we went in and we were configuring things, it's going to be hard coding these outputs for what we're trying to control. So in this particular example, I went in, I assumed I had a four cylinder engine and I was controlling or setting up for secondary injectors. I had a primary set and a secondary set. So a turbocharged four cylinder engine, two sets of injectors, and we've designated them here. So we can see our outputs one through four are going to be designated for primary injectors and our outputs here five through eight. These can be set for our secondary outputs for injectors or secondary set of injectors. So we can see we can't click on these. They're going to be hard coded right now. We're not able to edit them or do anything with them. However, if we're looking at our outputs nine through 16 here, we actually can go into our drop down and select other purposes for these outputs. So we're not going to be just stuck with using them for an injector. So let's close this up real quick here. Now, a couple of other things with our injector outputs that we're going to be having to understand or know. If our injectors are going to be a saturated style injector, so if we take a multimeter, put it across the two probes, and we look at the resistance, we'll see that it should be above 10 ohms. So 10 ohms and higher, we're able to use these and wire them right into our actual fuel tech controller. If they're going to be less than